So as it relates to the diagnostic criteria for NPD, right? Clinicians need five or more of the traits that you see listed in order to diagnose someone. But people, I want to make it abundantly clear to you. If you encounter anyone with at least one or even two of these traits, they are going to be a very toxic and a dysfunctional person. So do not wait until the individual gets to five. So you could meet someone that does not meet the diagnostic criteria of having five or more of the traits. It does not mean that they won't be a toxic person. So understand that pathological narcissist people are people that abandoned their true selves in childhood for a mask. Again, that mask is that ego. The mask is what they're using to deceive you. The mask is what they're using to love bomb you. And the mask is tailor-made to deceive you. So if you like R&B music, people, the narcissist likes R&B music. If your favorite sport or favorite activity or hobby is fishing, then all of a sudden the narcissist likes fishing. They are going to be a bait and tackle expert. That is what you're dealing with. They are mirroring you and they mirror you in the love bomb so that you believe that they are like you so that you drop your guard so that they can later devalue you. And the devaluation phase in the narcissistic abuse cycle again, people is where the abuse comes in. It is the gaslighting. It is the, the double bind. It is where the triangulation is going to come in, etc. because you're going to want to go back to the person that you met. However, that person did not exist. It is false. It is a mask. And you'll see where when the narcissist runs off with the new supply or they run off into the wind, they'll put on another mask to deceive the other individual. Because again, you are not in a mutually beneficial relationship. You were in a abuse cycle. And this is why things seem so up and down and topsy-turvy and nothing can ever be right because nothing can ever be right because narcissists are programmed backwards. They believe that they are the mask. They believe that they are the ego and understand that the ego is a mind-made construct. It is the figment of a child's imagination now existing inside of an adult's body. So when you're dealing with pathological narcissists, you're dealing with the insane. You're dealing with an insane person because they keep doing this cycle over and over and over again, expecting different results. Narcissistic abuse is a cycle of love bombing or idealization, devalue, discard, and hoover, and again, and again, and again, because these individuals are in a shame pride cycle. They have very severe arrested development and they have been going through this shame pride cycle since their childhood. And understand that this has nothing to do with you because again, you're dealing with someone with severe psycho spiritual arrested development. And because they are filled with pride, they do not see anything wrong with their behavior because they believe in their minds that they are perfect and perfect people do not need to change. So understand that their grandiose mask is there to hide their deep-seated inner shame, that deep-seated low self-esteem that they are trying to hide. But when you look beyond the mask or when you look in between the cracks in their mask, you will see that they are a very feeble, fragile, and highly insecure person because, again, they have pathologically low self-esteem. Self-esteem so low that they would probably have to look up to see it. And this is why they wear masks to fool people because they really do not like their true selves. So they have to wear multiple masks depending on the individuals that they go around. So if you're dealing with a narcissist, especially those on the malignant side, those that are deep into narcissism, where narcissism overlaps with antisocial personality disorder, that which you may call sociopathy or psychopathy, you should be very mindful of hanging around these individuals because they are very sadistic and they are like a serpent monitoring a rat and they are waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And when they strike people, you will see that Cheshire Cat grin, 
smirk, that Grinch-like smirk, that duper's delight smirk on their face. And that is pretty much it for this particular lesson. Ensure that you're liking these videos. Ensure that you're subscribed for more empowering content. If you have any questions or feedback, leave that in the comment section. She is the name. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.